Major Craft, this is Smalls A here, and today I'm showing you guys a tutorial video on how to use Web Portal. Now, the first thing you want to do to use Web Portal is you want to go to the website. If you do not have the link, it, it broadcasts on the server about every 10 minutes. Alright, so first you want to come over here, and, you, and this does require um, you to sign up for the website to use the market. Now, something I do advise um, for you guys to do is to create a shortcut on your uh, home page and type this link in it. It's much easier to use and you can also use full screen. So in this tutorial I'm going to be using that. But anyways, um, I'm going to go over here to my full screen which is right here. You should click this for me since it's a shortcut and then it goes directly in to, to the web portal. Now, the first thing you want to do is you have to create an account to get in here. So to create an account, you want to go into Minecraft. Well, a little bit of a lag there. A big lag. All right, that was weird. Now to create an account, type slash wa password and then your password. Now this is going to look like slash wa password and then to say just test one two three all right after you do that <coughs> you're eligible to and to use the website but also keep in mind that your username is your minecraft name and your password does not have to be your minecraft password it can be anything you want because remember i can see all the passwords all right so after you make your um, password. You want to go back over here into the website, and then you can sign in. So, for example, mine would be Smalls Eight, and then the password that I typed. So once you sign in, it says Smalls Eight, my money, and I have one mail. Um, that's your mailbox, which I will explain that a little later. So you want to come over here, click auctions, and you will see all the auctions up for sale. Now, to buy something, say Rodney McKay selling a trapped chest, you want to just you want to come over here and in the buy in the buy box, you want to just click type in a quantity. So he's only selling one at the moment, so I'll just put one and hit buy, and then it'll subtract money from my account, and it's priced this way right here. Now, if you have a sword, it'll tell the enchantment in this box, and then it'll tell the durability in this box. Um, so that's very useful. So now, after you after you buy something, so say I buy, what's cheap here? I'll buy this one. Um, so I do one, buy. Now that will go directly into your items. Now, as you see here, it says quantity. Uh, I only bought one, so there's the quantity and how much I bought it for and whatnot. So I'm going to describe how to get items into the auction next so I'll let me get over to my Minecraft page and then I'll explain from there. Alright, so once you guys are in here you want to get your item one second. I'll just use a piece of grass for now. Alright, um, one second. Uh. Alright, now you want to get your item and you want to come over here to the mailbox and then de deposit. You can see all the signs, there's deposit, there's uh, withdraw, and V-box. Now, see, I want to put this item into my mailbox. My mailbox is pretty much my items for um, in, in the web portal screen. So, if now, it, deposit is to put it in and withdraw is to take it out. And the V-box it's kind of easier to use sometimes. Um, you can just take stuff in and out. As you see, my sign I just bought, it's right there. So it all works different ways. Um, but some people find this easier, some people don't. So anyways, if I want to put this in here, I just put it there. Now it's in my items in my web portal. All right, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna, for, for this example, I'm going to use the deposit. So that's what you're going to do. You're going to step on the pressure plate. Make sure you always step on the pressure plates when using. Step on the pressure plate, and then click deposit. Now it says item stack stored. So you want to head back over here to your items and then you're going to refresh it. 
All right, I just see there's the one grass I just put in. Now, if I want to sell this item, you want to hit create auction. And you can, either one you want, I'll, I'll do the grass. And the quantity, I only have one. And how much price want to be. And you just hit create auction. And it goes directly into the auctions tab. Now, see, I just bought this, bought something. Like, I just bought the sign. Now, I want to get it back into my Minecraft, like, into the Minecraft game. I want to hit send item to mail. Remember, just like, just like depositing your, your mail, like, like, like we just did. Now, we want to get it out. So, we'll do quantity of one of the signs, and we'll hit send. Mail sent. Alright, so now let's go back into the game. Alright, so now once we're in the game, um, the V-Box does, does sometimes take time to update, so as you see, it's not, the sign is not there. But if you want to go over here and you want to go to withdraw, which this is always updated, you stand the pressure plate, and then you just hit withdraw. And there's my sign, and then I had that wool from earlier, but I never got it out. So that's pretty much how this works. It's very useful, guys. Um, once more people start to use it, it'll be much, very, it'll be more effective. So just, this is a tutorial video on how to use it. If you guys have any more questions, just notify me or any staff member, and we'll be sure to help you. So thanks guys for watching this video, and I'm out.